Well, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, everyone. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and welcome to my mini Christmas tour. I didn't do a lot because, as you guys know, I am moving. So here is the doormat at my front door, and I picked that up from Aldi. I do have a wreath, but it's not really Christmas. My auntie made me this wreath before I moved and I just love the burlap with the blue J on it so I have this still on my door and I love it it is so pretty and goes perfectly with the door that I have here in the apartment so that is the wreath I have on my door right now and then we're going to go ahead and go into my apartment here and you guys have seen this entrance in another video but I just wanted to show I do have two of those bottle brush trees back in the back or tinsel trees back in the back on this shelf right here and I added a ornament right here that has a heart and I love this ornament I think this came from Linux years ago I've had this forever so I just placed it right here and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it there also at the entrance you'll come into a bench now this bench will change you guys will see that i have one more stocking i need to hang up but i have these pillows here and these pillows are from walmart last year they were two for ten so they were five dollars each and so i have them on the bench we have merry and bright and peace i can't remember what the other one says <laughs> Oh my goodness. And then I have these stockings hung right here. I do want to get one more of these hooks and I will put Raz's stocking next to ours. And then after these come down, this will just be a coat hood coat hook at the door now we're going to move on to what I have over my kitchen and I have my little chocolate Santa there. Now these measuring cups came from Walmart this year and they were like $3. They are so cute and I thought this went great with the gingerbread theme I was having this year. This joy sign came from Hobby Lobby and it was a great price because I got it on the 50% off. And then this little tree here came from a Walmart and it was about two or three dollars for that as well. And then of course my chocolate Santa and I do want to put 2020 on his cup soon. But he came from Kroger and he was $13.99 not a bad price for him at all so I love him so much thank you to my son and then on the other side I do have this Santa cookie sign so cookies for Santa and carrots for the reindeer and then I have these coasters that also have a J on them then we move on into my stove and I have this Believe kitchen towel on top there this came from Target I think two years ago the dollar spot and then on the other side I do have my Merry Christmas spatula and this came from Target this year and it wasn't that bad it was like two dollars for the little spatula this sign I picked up this year this naughty or nice I thought this was super cute and it will go with my theme next year so I went ahead and picked it up now and I just have it sitting on top of my fridge next to all the Halloween candy we still have and then the Trader Joe's uh, taste of caramel and we're gonna try that soon so I just have that sitting up here as well over on my shelves, I do have these gingerbread measuring spoons. For some reason, this young lady never stays up. She's usually just hanging down like she's hanging on, but I try to keep her up as much as possible. And then I have my little chocolate nutcracker, and he is so cute, and I love him next to my auntie's mixture. It's kind of like cookies and the nutcracker. <laughs> And then we're going to go down to our coffee bar and I have this little container that has Santa's milk on it. This was picked up at Walmart last year and it comes with a plate that I don't have out this year, but it does have a plate that says Santa's cookies. 
This little Santa came from Walmart this year, and he is so cute. There's nothing in there. And then I do have some Starbucks cups from last year that came from my son's job. They were just trying to get rid of them, so they gave them to the employees. So I just have them there with some lids. And then we're going to pan up and I have all of my Christmas cups. Now these came from Target two years ago and I love them. I wish they had new cups this year, but they didn't do any type of cups this year. And then this kitchen towel on this side next to my grandmother, it also came from Target. And that came from Target this year. It's a little gingerbread man and it shows all of his little gumdrops and things like that. And I thought this was so cute and perfect for the coffee bar because I'll be changing that out. And then I have this gingerbread Christmas tree. I love this thing. My son got it from me from Kroger for $6.99. On the other side, I have this cookbook and I've had this cookbook forever. It was thrifted years ago with this Christmas tree also was thrifted. And then I have this glass tree that I'm thinking I might leave out year round. I got this from old time pottery when they were open and it was about $7.99 if I recall and then I also picked up these reindeer for $5.99 at Old Time Pottery when they were open and this was years ago so I've had them a very long time and then I decided to put something on the doorbell first I wanted to see what it sit on there but I added this ornament and this snowman on top and I think it looks really cute in the bathroom I just added one little flock tree and that is all I added Tati did not decorate her bathroom so I did go ahead and decorate the bathroom that Kellen and I share so I just added this tree with this God is good y'all so um, I have this in the bathroom right now and I think it's so super cute and I love coming in in the morning to brush my teeth with the tree right there on my desk it is really simple so I have these two gingerbread people I picked one up for my son and one up for my daughter and these came from Hobby Lobby this year again I got them on the 50% off sale so they were like five or six bucks they weren't super expensive but i think they look so cute next to this bath and body works candle in the merlot and then i have this gray tree behind my calendar on top of the exit or the uh, patio exit i did put up this wreath with those houses that came from target dollar spot years ago and then on my bed you guys have seen this i did put a red throw with my christmas hat and then i have some more pillows from walmart just in the red and white and i love my christmas hat with the crown on it i got that from walmart about five years ago so it's been a while since I picked that up. Behind my Christmas tree, I did put a gray plaid and another gray tree on this sign that I love. I was gifted this from work. And then the tree itself with all our presents under there. Uh, we do have a few family members we need to drop off presents for, but I am so in love with this flock tree. I like to keep my tree super, super simple. So it just has a few items on there and then it has this, uh, I want to say burlap, but it's not a burlap. It has the little things that you like to make wreaths with for some reason it is not coming to my mind but I just put a little topper on top with some picks and I added that on there like a candy cane and just added a few ornaments in red and green and also my clear ornaments that I like to use every single year that have snowflakes and deer and things like that and I just really wanted a simple but so cute tree so I hope you guys enjoyed this video that is it for me you guys um I will see you in the next one if you are new I hope you choose to subscribe and put a little happy in your day as Miss Wad would say <laughs> all right you guys I'll see you later bye y'all